live about the expo. We want to let people know it out there. It is for sponsors, vendors, manufacturers, everyone involved in off-road. This is going to be a great place in Reno, so you need to check it out on Dirt Live. And uh, we need to get some people up there, and we're going to have a ball in Reno during that uh, weekend up there at the Dirt Expo. Well, welcome uh, to the show, Gary. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Well, let's uh, get started with, uh, well, i got to congratulate you on your win yep. at the NOR 1000, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty proud of that, and, and uh, a lot of hard work and effort went into that, and, and that's literally years in the making. So I'm pretty excited about that and looking forward to uh, the Baja 500 coming up. Well, let's, uh, let's start out with uh, a little bit about you and uh, where you started um, racing from. Here we go. Difficulties. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Live Gary, TV, right? Let's get back to <clears throat> congratulations on the win, the North 1000. Thank you very much. And uh, you, uh, man, great job. You and uh, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. I drove uh, day one and day two. Ryan drove day three and uh, hopped back in for uh, day four and just had a blast. What, what an awesome race. And, and really, it's, it's amazing to be down there and, and all the history. And, and uh, gosh, just a lot of fun. Well, let's start out with Gary Williams back in the day. You know, where did you start? I mean... Some guys, you know, start motorcycles. Uh, where did you start? Sure. I actually started, um, gosh, back in 2005. It's not even that long ago, right? Uh, it, driving in the Skip Arbor Series, um, where a lot of people kind of start off in, in road racing. And, and uh, really, I consider the kind of the shot was, was really when I, um, I got to drive for Volkswagen in the Volkswagen TDI Cup. And that was a program put on by Mark Miller and, and Ryan Arciero, where uh, Volkswagen did an open driver search all around the country. Um, took about 150 drivers to Phoenix, and from that narrowed down the field to their uh, their you know their their driving team, and I uh, actually got picked to be to be part of that, and uh, that was an exciting opportunity, and it was a series televised on speed, and um, the winner got $250,000, so pretty uh, pretty big deal. Um, certainly a humbling deal for me as a driver. I actually didn't win a single race, uh, but um, but at the same time, what it what it allowed me to do was make the connections with. Uh, with the people, and, and um, uh, I, that's where I met Ryan Arcero and Mark Miller, and, and that's really where this whole thing, whole thing started. Now so. you did a little before. Talk a little bit about the Skip Barber. You did that before. Yeah, that. I did the Western Series Skip Barber. That's a ten race, ten race series, and uh, actually won the Western Division for that. So that was pretty, pretty exciting ordeal. And then, you know, like I said, transitioned onto the, uh, onto the Volkswagen stuff. So I'm sure they, they spotted you in that and thought, hey, this guy could be some. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it's kind of amazing how one step kind of follows another and you just kind of keep picking your way through and finding opportunities and, and making it all work. And, and in fact, after the TDI Cup, um, that's when Ryan and Mark were doing the, the uh, Baja Race Tour program. And um, they said, hey, how about, how, do you want to come down to Baja and just kind of check out what we're doing? And that was the uh, 2009 Baja 1000. And I went down there and was just amazed uh, at what Baja racing was all about. That was really my first experience in off-road racing. And um, a couple days before the race, Mark Miller tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, why don't you come for a ride in the pro truck? And uh, in fact, oddly enough, that's the, that's the pro truck that we just won the NOR in. Uh, little did I know, you know, five, six years later. But um, one ride in a pro truck, and that was it. I was hooked. Love off-road racing. Well, then you get hooked up with the Herps and uh, become the co-driver for Ryan Arciero. And yeah. what a team you yeah, guys put I, together. Yeah, you know, I, I pinch myself every day. And, and uh I mean, all throughout growing up, all throughout high school. I mean, the, you know, you, names like the Herbst and 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 uh, our Sierros and all these people that I looked up to. I mean, growing up, it, I pinch myself every day that I have the opportunity to be part of the program, um, and 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 just to be able to ride with with somebody like Ryan. And, and uh, right now, I'm in the learning phase still. You know, I mean, Nora's, Nora was a big win driving, but at the same time, I, I still recognize I got a lot to learn in Baja. I got a lot a lot to learn about driving a driving a trophy truck, and um, what better way to do it than and sit in the right seat for Ryan and be part of Terrible Herbs Motorsports. It's just fantastic. Now you did a little, I, I researched a little bit about you. Um, I think a little, tw you drove class 12 for a while? You know, that um, my first off-road race was, was uh, Parker in 2009. And um, for anybody that knows Lee Banning and Banning Motorsports, just a yeah. fantastic family, fantastic group of people. Um, can't thank Lee enough, you know, after I had come back from the yeah. Baja 1000, and uh, after watching this whole Volkswagen Tour Ed program, I said, hey, you know, I, talking to Ryan and Mark, I said, hey, where do, how do I start out in this game? Where do I go? You know, so many guys go out and buy, you know, whatever they need to buy. And they said, you know, you need to, you need to start in class 12 or 1100. And um, that's where you need to start this whole thing. So started asking all the right people, and, and, and everybody pointed to Banning as being the top program. 
in that class, and uh, Lee and I got to talking, and and uh, sure enough, we made we made it all work. And so my first race was Parker, uh, 2009 in uh, in an 1100 car. And then uh, you, how'd you do? Well, <laughs> you had to bring it up. I, uh, you know, um, it was a nice welcome to off road racing, but I actually broke my back, uh, okay. my first ever my first ever off road race. So that was a uh, a humbling experience um, and and a good a good learning experience both personally uh, and in racing. Um, you know, really you know, understanding the safety equipment and really being prepared for a race and and uh, and everything else. And, and accidents happen, and it's just part of the deal. So you know, it's kind of cool because we've had you know, mostly the drivers on the show, and it's neat now, you're a co-driver. What, what, what do you really, you know, um, do? You know, what do you re prepare yourself for a race as a co-driver? You know, I tell you what, I didn't know how much co-drivers really did till I did it myself. And riding with Ryan, he is, he is very detailed in his preparation for the race. Uh, we go over strategy all the time, but, but notes alone, I mean, just to give you an idea, last year's thousand, I had over a thousand notes. And uh, you know we make very detailed notes, and, and uh, we have a good um, uh, way that we, we navigate together. You know, Ryan's been driving over in Dakar, so he kind of, he kind of adopted that style of you know rally notes, if you will, uh, and that's what we use in the trophy truck. So I'm I'm working, I'm always working in that car, and always talking to Ryan, and, and uh, very rarely get the opportunity to look up and, and see all the beautiful scenery. But that's what's pre that's what uh, pre running's for. Well, you guys have had some great finishes lately. Yep. You know? Yeah, we're uh, you know we're really on a roll. You know the the, the terrible Herbst trucks are really coming together. We've made some recent changes, uh, shock changes, and some other things that have that have really worked well. And and uh, I I think uh, we've got some good momentum coming into the 500. We had a great great result in Ridgecrest. Um, uh, Ryan and I and Troy and, and the group and uh, JT we won Parker last year. So we're we're building momentum. We're we're getting terrible Herbst Motorsports back to where they used to be. It's kind of fun and. Uh operation mike smith still there oh yeah guys. yeah yeah make no mistake mike runs the show and uh, all the guys over there i mean uh um wade jt jeff todd the list goes on and on i mean those guys pour their heart and soul into that program and it shows and it shows it's uh, uh the herbst family great family obviously tim and, and troy and uh, jerry and everybody else i mean just uh like i told you before i mean i'm just so humbled and honored and pinch myself every day just to just to sit in the truck now when you're down in mexico do you you know, you've been down there for a while with yeah. those guys, VW and all this. Yeah. Um, favorite place down there? I mean, hanging out. Oh, gosh. Favorite place? Um, Bay of L.A. Really? I'd say, you know, I, I, I really do enjoy Bay of L.A. Uh, we always stay at Guillermo's down there. In fact, we did day, day two of Nora right. was right there. And, and that, was, that, to me, was, was such a great process, you know, racing in Nora and getting to drive in all the places that for the last four or five years I've taken notes on and really applied everything that I've learned from Ryan and and uh, Troy and everybody else, and, and uh, it was cool to leave Bay of LA and go, you know, I know what's coming up. I got, you know, so it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Because you had done the 1,000 the year before, yep. you know. Yep, yep, So, uh, you, you know, do you like the peninsula run or, the cir you know, round in a circle there? I well, I mean, I've, just to be part of any 1,000 or 500 or anything else is, to me, just a, an awesome experience. But, yes, I, I, I would say that there is a mystique or a certain mystique to the peninsula run. I mean, that's... You talk to any driver, that is the one, right? That is the true Baja 1000 is, is uh, going all the way down the peninsula. And, and um, the Nora format or that, that four-day format was a, uh, certainly a chance to soak it all in. But at the same time, as I kind of progressed through the field, you know, I started 21st. And as I progressed through the field, you get to day two, day three, and you go, man, I got a shot at this thing. So I didn't sleep night of day three, but, um, uh, but got up for day four. And, and that run to La Paz, uh, uh, from La Paz to Cabo San Lucas was uh, something I'll never forget. Uh, you guys... You guys competed in the pro truck, so that that a little different class than some of the older vehicles, right? Yeah, you know, I, I had the chance to come down to Nora uh, for the for the inaugural event um, with Ryan Arciero and Bob Gordon, and uh, Ryan's dad, and uh, they ended up winning it that year. In fact, they went back to back in the in their Toyota, the, the old Toyota Chenith, and really. Um, it is a vintage race. I mean, make no mistake about it. It's a vintage race. But as as you can see over the last couple of years, um, you know, there's been a lot of pre-runners entered, and, and uh, Mark Post brought his big trophy truck. And and uh, you know, it, about two months prior to the race, we said, well, what about entering that pro truck? And um, that pro truck certainly has some history. It's won the Peninsula Run a couple times. Wow. Um, it was the truck that that uh, Mark Miller and Ryan did the on-highway refueling with. So it certainly has some history in off-road racing. Um, we felt it was important to bring it down there, and, and we had a lot of fun. So you, you do it again? I mean, absolutely. We're, I mean, I, if I could fill out the entry form now, I'd do it. Now, who was your co-driver, Ryan? No, I had. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I should have. You, you know Ryan better than that. Should have had Ryan. Yeah. <laughs>
Or maybe you can ask him, right? Right. You know. Um, no, I had Gabe Dennington. He uh, he rode with me. He's he preps the truck. Uh, also Travis Moore, a good friend of Ryan's, and and we we really tried to make it fun. But um, you know the evolution of that race. Day one starts out as fun. We're all here how to fun, have fun and have a good time. And day two, by day three, I mean it's it's a full race. I mean we're in full race mode. So it was it's a it's a cool cool deal. Well, you're getting ready for the 500. Yeah. Um, and like you said, I know when we talked in Ridgecrest, um, the the new shock combination with King, um, that really made a big change in your program. Absolutely. Um, the the switch to King it was a was a was a huge improvement for the program and, and uh, the trucks have been solid. Reliability has been phenomenal. Never had any issues with the truck and, and uh, you know, handling was something that we, we felt we could improve upon and um, made the switch and wow, what a difference. I mean, Ridgecrest qualifying, you know, two, three, right out of the gate with really four hours of testing uh, on, the, uh, on the new shock package was, uh, was pretty encouraging and, and I'm happy to be riding in the right seat and, and see where it goes. And you guys ran f up front all day. Yeah, yeah, ran up front all day and, and uh, pretty exciting. Ryan drove a phenomenal race. Troy, Troy has been just flawless uh, in his driving and, and uh, Larry Rossler obviously driving with Tim and, and we, we've just got a great thing going right now. Good chemistry, trucks are, trucks are solid and uh, I'm, I'm very excited about the 500. So what do you, the, you saw the map and you have, you're getting ready to go down there. Yeah. Uh, you, do you study the map as a co-driver? Ryan and I sit down, we study the map, but, but where, we, uh, where we like to think we find our edges in the notes. And we'll probably pre-run our section no less than eight times. Oh, really? Um, and we take video and every night we sit in the hotel room, study the video. Um, we are prepared every race we enter. And uh, there's not a section or rock or turn that we don't know come race day. Race day is pretty much, you know, just uh, just pre-running for us, uh, if you want to think of it that way, just because we've seen it so many times. We know what we're up against, but um, certainly there are those var variables, who's in front of us, who's behind us, um, how the race is playing out. So as far as race strategy before the race, um, we worry about ourselves and ourselves only. So we go in with our own game plan, don't worry about anybody else, and, and uh, hit our marks and go. Well, qualifying, a little extra bonus here. You sure. Guys could... I, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Get so it. cool new format, and uh, uh, in theory, the fast guys start up front, and and uh, and there we go. So just, I mean, we're we're so excited about the new changes and and what Rogers really, you know, you, it, the the changes are evident. Really taking score to a new level, and and the timing I think is right. Um, this sport is going to grow; it is evolving, and uh, um, it's just fantastic and glad to be a part of it. Well, it's neat to have you know Troy and Tim and Larry and all you guys back in in the yeah. 19 and. The, the the uh, 49, you know, and 91, yeah, yeah, 90. We switched <laughs> at 91. The uh, so you know, as as like we said, as a co-driver now, are you doing the first part, or can we talk about that yet? Is we don't know a, yet. I mean, we do, but we don't. So we're we're still kind of finalizing our race strategy at this point. So uh, until that's until that's all squared away, we're. Uh, so you guys kind of pre-run the whole course, and then basically determine, hey, I think I'm better at the first part, and then maybe, you know. Uh, Yep, yeah, we're still working through it. Troy I mean, goes, I think yeah. You get one lap, and I think it's important to, to, to set, you know, each driver up with a section that they're good at. You know, everybody's, everybody's good at, um, you know, one section here or one section there. Ryan really excels in the tight technical stuff, so we'll see, we'll see how that plays out. And uh, Sean Hoagland does all our logistics. Um, so we'll see the course once, um, see where it gets us, and, and kind of develop our strategy from there. But uh, we're all heading down Friday morning and uh, going to take the whole week to pre-run, and, and um, it's going to be awesome. Do you, you like being by the coast more on the ocean? or You know what? I, I just enjoy being part of the race. You know, I, I, uh, for me to say I like this section better or that section, I mean, I'm just humbled at the, at the um, opportunity to, to ride in a truck. So, um, you know, I, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that every, every time I get in that truck right before the race, I get pretty emotional, you know, because, um, you know, it wasn't too long ago. A couple of years ago, I was sitting on the couch watching YouTube videos and going, gosh, I'd, I'd love, to, love the opportunity just to be around off-road racing, let alone... Um, uh, riding in a truck and obviously driving in Nora. So um, I'll take any section down in Baja. You know, and it's, it's got to be exciting that morning of the race. I know when you guys are lined up sideways there getting ready for the start and they have you all lined up and the spectators are fans just go crazy going over you guys getting ready. Gosh, I mean, the, 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 the love from the Baja fans is, is something very unique. And um, there's just something special about being down there. There's something special about that race. The fans are very passionate about off-road racing, and, and um, something that you you don't you, you in a different way you get here in the states. But but Mexico is Baja is Baja, and there's something special about that race. And and I never sleep the night before, 
and um, every time we take that start line, you know, it's, uh, you're, you're nervous and you're ready to go. Well, you, you know, we talk about Monster Energy as being part of the score and HTRA, you sure. know, and that's got to be pumped because you guys are part of Monster. And, Absolutely. Uh, you're going to be there Thursday night for the party. You've got a big party. Absolutely. We, we don't miss a single Monster party. Um, and, yes, very fortunate to have Monster Energy on board for Taylor Hurst Motorsports. And uh, it's um, Monster's involvement is crucial to taking this sport to the next level. And you can see it with the hospitality tents that they, they set up, um, the marketing that you've seen. I mean, Monster is taking, and, and Roger and Monster is taking this sport to the next level, and, and we're happy to be a part of it. Well, anybody else out there you'd like to thank, Gary? <laughs> the, I mean, you got a lot of people behind you, man. Yeah, the list, you know, the list is lengthy, but certainly um, terrible herbs you know, for, for the opportunity and Monster Energy for making it happen. And uh, certainly Ryan Arciero for allowing me to ride with him and, and Sean and all the boys back at the, back at Terrible Herbs Motorsports. I mean, I, I could go on and on uh, uh, all night about people that have helped me, helped me in this process and just very excited. Well, we're happy to have you here on Dirt Live, Gary. Yeah. Once again, thanks for coming by. No, thank Congratulations you. Thank you very much. To your victory at yeah. the Nora. Um, let's hope you pull one off down there at uh, the Baja 500. We're, we're, we're going to give it our best shot. Well, we're going to go to a commercial. When we come back, we'll be joined uh, via Skype with Mitch Covington speaking of Monster Energy. We'll be right back. Good sir.